This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Let's be upfront about this. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Get My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So, the annual TV Upfronts event recently finished. Mm -hmm. This is named for how networks ask advertisers to put up some advertising money up front. Uh So they like invest in the new shows. That's why it's called the Upfronts. upfronts. And this is where they introduce the new shows for the season. And they announce what existing shows will and won't make it into the next season. Yeah. And a lot of this is still really iffy, though. You know, it, they, it might change. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of the, yeah, especially the the new shows being announced, because they mm-hmm. might get pushed back, some shows have already been pushed back, we're not even going to worry about those, because right. a lot of those never end up ever happening. Yes. <laughs> so, let's start with the losers, the, losers. the ones who are being canceled. The ones that we talked about last year in the upfront. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> many of whom so, were last year's upfronts. Yes. <laughs> So, for ABC, Revenge after four seasons being pulled. Mm-hmm. Manhattan Love Story after four episodes being pulled. I think we called that one. <laughs> yeah. Selfie, seven episodes. Yep. Christella, one season. Mm-hmm. Forever, one season. Yeah. And that's kind of a surprise. Yeah. But we only watched it about halfway through, and then we said we'd catch up later. Right. So, I can see that one. Because... It almost became a self-limiting concept. Yes. <laughs> so the idea was a this physician who somehow has become immortal, and he, he can be killed, but he just comes back to life, and now he's lived all these, these lives in New York City, and now he's a modern forensic scientist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And But nobody knows about it. So that's the big thing. It's like, how does no one figure this out? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the taste... Three seasons. Three seasons. What was that? That was the cooking show with Nigella Lawson, and oh. that's why it's no longer in the air because okay. she had all these problems. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then Resurrection after two seasons, another show we started with, and then got too conspiracy. Yeah, <laughs> kind of petered out. On yeah, it, yeah. So. CBS, The Mentalist, after seven seasons, and and it I think was less canceled than sort of just died a just natural death. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Reckless, after one season, I think we watched the first episode and went, meh. The Millers, who got, I would call, 1.2 seasons. This was bizarre. It got renewed for a second season. It went four episodes. They went, nah, we're done. Nah, we're done. (laughs) Which hardly ever happens. Mm -hmm. Two and a half men. Our long national nightmare is over after 12 seasons. Ugh. Unforgettable. Three seasons. It was actually brought back by CBS, and then it didn't work. It's been saved by A and E. Is mm-hmm. going to continue the show. Battle Creek after one season, really more than like half a season. You know they they. I think it could have worked if they had stuck with a the main concept. Yeah. The initial concept was these. This town that's in terrible financial trouble, and the cops trying to work w- within that, and this FBI co- guy comes in with all this money. It was a very interesting concept, and then by like the second or third episode, it was like, oh, it's a generic procedural now. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The McCarthy's one season. Mm-hmm. Stalker one season. I'm kind of glad that got canceled. <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. And CSI, 15 seasons, there will be a two-hour movie, and then that's it. That For the original CSI. The original CSI. The, you know, CSI Dubuque is still going yeah. on. Yeah, uh-huh. On the CW. Now, CW had an incredible season this year in terms of their ratings. Mm-hmm. So, they didn't have to cancel very much. A few shows that basically I didn't even know existed. Mm-hmm. Backpackers, with two episodes. Seed with two episodes and The Messengers with three episodes. Mm-hmm. Never heard of them. Heart of Dixie is the only one I ever heard of. Never watched it. Four seasons. Yes. So they're keeping quite a bit. They are. Not so much on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> the Mindy Project. Three seasons, but now it's officially announced Hulu is picking it up. And that I, was just so all over the place that, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised it had three seasons. Because the show constantly changed. Mm-hmm. It's like, bringing these characters, oh, these characters never existed. Yeah. <laughs> Gang-related, one season. Glee, after six seasons. Kitchen Nightmares, seven seasons. Mm-hmm. How do you get seven seasons out of that? 
<laughs> Grace Point, one season. Mm -hmm. That was the show that was the Broad Church remake mm -hmm. from a UK show with the same actor, but it wasn't very good. Utopia, 12 episodes. That was their big event uh, yeah. reality show that went nowhere. Yeah. The following, three seasons. This is a show mm -hmm. that keeps being brought back, and they finally said, we're done. Yeah. Backstrom, one season. Mm -hmm. Red Band Society, one season. Mm -hmm. Mulaney, one season. And Weird Loners, which they called one season, but it's more like mm -hmm. three episodes. Yeah, well, maybe they're going to burn <laughs> off the rest. <laughs> NBC didn't do much better. Parks and Rec, six, seven seasons. Yep. Really, really sad to see that go. Parenthood, six seasons. A to Z, half a season, because they only got to the L's. Yeah. <laughs> Bad Judge, half a season. Working the Engels, a few episodes. The Slap, it was one season, it was a limited series. Constantine, one season. And there was some talk about maybe CW would like either pick up the show or even include the character in Arrow. Mm -hmm. No, they said that it's not going to happen. Yeah. That was more wishful thinking. Yeah. And frankly, the show had a lot of potential, but turned into Supernatural with a British guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, State of Affairs, one season that they made all the fuss about. Yeah. Marry Me, one season. About a Boy, two seasons. And One Big Happy, a few episodes. Yeah. So who was saved? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who was making it the next season? ABC's American Crime, which we have five episodes, I think, on the DVR now. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a very depressing show. It really is. America's Funniest Home Videos, now without Tom Bergeron. So did they announce who was going to be there? I, they may have. I have uh, no who idea. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. The Bachelor, Beyond the Tank, so that series that they just started as a spinoff of, of Shark, Shark Tank. Tank has already gotten another season. Yeah. Blackish. Mm -hmm. Castle. Yeah, that could... That could <laughs> I love Nathan, but Castle's getting pretty long in the tooth. Dancing with the Stars, of course. Fresh Off the Boat. Here's a big surprise. Gallivant! Yay! I'm shocked. I'm shocked too, but I did like it. It's kind of a Mel Brooksian... Uh, musical. <laughs> musical. Musical comedy. The fable. It's, yeah. it's weird, and I'm shocked. I was like, we saw the last episode, like, and it was clear they set it up for a second season. Like, well, that was a mistake. Yeah, that's, that's never, never going to happen. happen. <laughs> it did happen. Oh my gosh. The Goldbergs. Grey's Anatomy. How to Get Away with Murder. Marvel's Agent Carter yes. got another season. There's another shocker. I think yeah. only because of the Disney machine said, we need something in that hole when yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't on, which also, of course, got yeah. a renewal. The Middle, Modern Family, of course. Nashville, Once Upon a Time, Scandal, Secrets and Lies, Shark Tank, Last Man Standing. So they renewed a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. As did CBS, Two Broke Girls. Big Bang Theory, which is now already set up through season 10. I think yeah. they're on season 8. Madam Secretary, Mike and Molly, Mom, NCIS New Orleans, Scorpion, Blue Bloods, CSI Cyber, <laughs> Generic <laughs> Procedural, Criminal Minds, Elementary, another... <laughs> how many how many procedurals can you do? The yeah. Good Wife, Hawaii Five-0, NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, Person of Interest, Odd Couple. Oh, the Odd Couple? Odd Couple. Oh, my God. Survivor, Amazing Race, Undercover Boss. <laughs> <laughs> so very little got changed there. And really, virtually nothing got changed on the CW. Yes. I think they, I, it, it, yeah, it, it, as you'll see, they only have one new pilot. Wow. <laughs> so they renewed the 100 America's Best Next Top no Model, Arrow, Beauty and the Beast, Flash, iZombie, Jane the Virgin, Originals, Rain, Supernatural, Vampire Diaries, all the way across the board. Mm -hmm. Fox, uh, we had Bob's Burgers, Bones, did get another season, you were wondering about uh, that. Yeah, I really think that one <laughs> needs to go. I watch it, I still watch it, I'm part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> But, oh, they're really stretching it there. Yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yay! <laughs> yeah, we love that show. Empire, which is this huge hit that came out of nowhere. Yes. And actually, supposedly was actually gaining audience episode so after episode, episode, which never happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think that just goes to show what you can do if you make it available online so you can catch up on those. Um, right. You know. Absolutely. Family Guy. 
Gotham, Last Man on Earth, which kind of went from too much better and kind of hit a <laughs> for it's, a show that wasn't on for many episodes this season. Yeah, it'll be interesting <laughs> to see what they do with that. In the I'd, next season. I'd almost like to see him move on to another city. Well, that's how they left it, yeah. though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they, with they, him and Carol driving off into the sunset right. to another city. Yeah, because that... And get new people, because yeah. he's poisoned everybody yes. else by this point. Mm -hmm. New Girl, which is very interesting because they... Uh, because Zoe Deschanel is pregnant, mm -hmm. and so they shot, like, the first four episodes of the next season before the end of this season. <laughs> And then Fox announced, oh, it's going to be mid-season. Okay. So it's like, well, thanks, Fox. Yeah. You went to all this trouble. Mm -hmm. The Simpsons. Which, hmm, will it be the same? Yeah, yeah. So we have Harry Shearer. Harry Shearer. Who does like name? 40 voices on yes, the show. Yes, and some of the most recognizable voices on the show. And the producers have said, we'll get new voice actors, we'll move on. What I was kind of hoping, I'm an enormous Simpsons fan, keep this in mind, but I was kind of hope, kind of in the back of my mind said, well, eventually one of the voice actors, main actors will die, Don't. and that will end the series. Now it's clear this will be evergreen, a la Bugs Bunny. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll just get another person in the role. We'll see how well it works without Harry Shearer. Well, it's entirely possible that... Um They'll start trying to use new voice talent, and they'll realize that it doesn't work, and they will meet his demands. Right. Yeah. Which I didn't think were very unreasonable if no, what wanted, the media says is true. Supposedly, he just wanted to do other work, other side jobs, which they allowed him to do in the past, but now they say, no, you can't do other jobs. And he has a show in England mm -hmm. where he's uh, portraying Nixon that he wants to do. And it's like, you know, it's a voice role. He could do it anywhere on the planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've done that before. And then Sleepy Hollow, which got another season. Mm -hmm. NBC, The Blacklist, Celebrity Apprentice, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago Vet, whatever it is. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Chicago Grimm, Law & Order SVU, Undateable, which is going live this fall. They're going to do a live sitcom. Oh, jeez. And Mysteries of Laura? Yeah. <laughs> Deborah Messing clearly has incriminating photos of NBC executives. Yes. <laughs> Mark, we're yeah. talking a lot about the shows that are canceled and coming back, mm -hmm. and we've run out of time, so now we're going to have to have a second episode where we talk about the new shows coming up. I suppose so. So in the meantime, everyone can go check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.